Hi, welcome back. In this session, I introduce about Mule ESB. Let's see what is Mule ESB, Mule ESB benefits, how MuleSoft has provided Mule ESB as community and enterprise edition, then Mule API SDLC. Mule ESB has supplied to the market by MuleSoft. Then Salesforce has acquired MuleSoft so that the provider of Mule ESB integration platform is Salesforce now. Mule ESB is a lightweight Java based enterprise service bus and integration platform that allows us to connect or build the applications together quickly and easily, enabling them to exchange the data to make the integrations. By learning Mule ESB, what are the benefits we will get? It helps in reducing the development time. Developers, as we are a developers, we feel very easy while doing development to build complex integrations also. And also it's cloud enabled MuleSoft allowing us to do the all the operations in cloud. So by learning Mule ESB, we can also experience how cloud works in real time. And also we will learn designing APIs and API management. MuleSoft itself providing all these features. Mule has supplied Mule as Community versus Enterprise Edition. Coming to the Community Edition, it's a open source and enables us to learn Mule ESB along with any point platform. Coming to the Enterprise Edition, there are no much differences between Community and Enterprise Edition with respect to development and any point platform, whereas customers need to take enterprise edition to make their environment ideal for production deployments. Since it is a cloud environment, the customers or organizations need enterprise partnership with MuleSoft to have the memory available in the cloud, the space especially to deploy the applications. So it is easy for us to upgrade community to enterprise edition with respect to the development. Coming to Mule API SDLC, already we know in our academics about a system development life cycles like waterfall, agile, extra. There we already know first we do requirement gathering, then designing, then development, then testing, then deployment, then management, then support. In similar way, MuleSoft also provided a API system development life cycle to maintain the life cycle of the each project. That is, first build a API specification. This is called as design phase. Here we design the API, then we simulate it with analysts product owners and architects. They will review the design and they will give us the feedback. Then we will validate it. If any changes required, we will do it. And again, we simulate it to the stakeholders. Then they will validate it and give us the response back. If there are no validations against it and everything is good and it got approved that means our api specification is ready once the api specification is ready in design phase we will start with the development of integrations then we will start testing those integrations then we will deploy it we will monitor we will troubleshoot if any issues occurs then we manage the applications and we secure the APIs since those are available over the internet. So the middle section, whatever we develop and test is called as implementation. 
and whatever we do deployments monitor troubleshooting management and securing apis falls under management as part of this course we will go through each section of this system development life cycle so we work with innermost circle designing apis simulating feedback then validating then making api specification is ready then we do development testing then deployments monitoring troubleshooting management and securing apis mulesoft has provided a web application called anypoint platform to do all these operations and also mulesoft has provided a ide called anypoint studio which we can get into our local system and we can do development so this development and testing we can do while developing in our local system using ide then rest of the all the sections we can do in the anypoint platform let's see how anypoint platform look like so this is anypoint platform home page which is a web application we can google it as anypoint platform and sign up and login don't worry i am going to show you about this anypoint platform in a separate section by explaining all these components why we use design center exchange access management api manager runtime manager and all components we are going to work with in depth with each component of anypoint platform to design the apis to deploy the apis to manage the apis to apply the security policies so mulesoft has provided a development ide which is a anypoint studio to do the development and given a web application called anypoint platform to do the cloud operations so as we discussed the mule api sdlc as part of this course first we are going to learn the development then testing then we will come to designing because if we are a beginner then we should learn the development first we know the development first then only we will able to design the apis without development we can't able to design apis so in this course first we will learn development then testing and then we will learn designing then we will learn deployments monitoring troubleshooting api management and securing apis and coming to the course i have divided the course into two sections one is core and one more is advanced sections we can consider from introduction section to mule soap services as a core section once you finish this core section you are good to start your job then from mule scatter gather to until last section falls into advanced sections advanced part there you can understand how we work in real time so while doing real time work also you can learn these and do the same implementation there those are very very useful for real time implementations or you can learn completely at the same time and coming to the sections each section contains quiz so after explaining the sections you will you will undergo through the quiz to validate yourself and your understanding of each lecture coming to the practice activities this course has around 90 lectures except this introduction videos each section video has a use case implementation so you just need to implement the same use case which i developed definitely you will become a confident mule soft developer i can guarantee that apart from this you don't need any other practice activities whatever i have done in 84 sessions 84 pocs you just do in same way that's it you 
mostly don't feel something new in real time that's all about this session thanks for watching see you in next session happy learning